Singapore has 63 offshore islands and about 30 minutes by boat south of us lies Pulau Hantu. The island makes for a lovely weekend getaway because of the lagoons and shaded beaches. But what lies beneath are treasures that many of us don't know about. A rich and diverse underwater habitat is being discovered by some and some of what you can see will amaze you. Pula Hantu is a home to a wide variety of marine life and coral reefs, for example. That's what I hope to see for today's dive. The Hantu bloggers are on a mission to share their discoveries and knowledge about the delightful and unique sea creatures you can find in Singapore waters. Debbie Ng first began by taking photos and blogging about what she had seen on her dives of Hantu. Coral reefs are the nurseries and the foundations for all ecosystems in the ocean. Without coral reefs to provide a safe place for young animals to hide and grow up, then they can't go out into the ocean. A lot of the fish that we like to eat, like snappers and groupers, all start their life in coral reefs. It's been a while since my last dive, so it's my first dive here in Singapore. I believe my life is in the good hands of Debbie. I'll be following her and seeing what we can see here right on our sunny little island of Gulaan. Why it's important for Singapore is because we're such a small island and we're so urbanised but yet somehow we've been very lucky to be able to exist next to these very fragile environments and it shows that it is possible to have urbanisation and with careful planning and management it is able for us to exist next to these fragile coral reefs. It is a part of our natural heritage and it's a great resource for scientists as well to explore and learn about our marine ecosystem. The Hantu bloggers will continue their mission to shine the light on the treasures we have here. There were unique experiences, like I remember I had my face just a few feet from the coral and suddenly the whole, what I thought was the coral reef, shifted and I got this huge shock. And so I just moved back a little bit and what I realised was this huge sea turtle that was actually hiding in the reef and that really startled me. Magical moments like this really keep us coming back even though we have dived hundreds of times here and we still see new things and learn new things and discover new animals.